Uh, hello, this is Matthew and Michael uh, from Tasty Placement. Hello. And hi, Michael. <laughs> um, we're going to talk today about Screaming Frog, which is one of our favorite tools. And we're going to talk about finding broken links and nearly broken links, and maybe a little bit about what to do about them. And maybe some extra. Yeah. gems in there always yeah. surprises with we'll screaming frog we'll throw some stuff in so if you can see the screaming frog we're, we've got the current 8.1 version uh the the black bar here at the top this is where you start we actually have already crawled tastyplacement.com because uh, it, it took a little while to get that all together but you can see up at the top uh, we've got tastyplacement.com in the little search bar and it's already been set, the mode up here at the top has been set to spider. Um, maybe later on another uh, topic, another video, we'll talk about the list mode. But the spider mode, what you do is you give it some place to start from, in this case, just the root domain, and hit start, and the spider goes and visits every page it can find, spidering link to link to link, all through the site. And with our site, I think we probably got most of the links, if not all of them, um, through this through the spidering. Uh, there might be like a couple, like maybe the thank you page couldn't have been found. But uh, currently, there are. Let me scroll down here. There's about almost 2,000 links slash resources that uh, that were found throughout the site, and the part that we're going to look at to 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 dig down and find the broken links is over here on the right. Uh, this is uh, this is like a little summary page here, a little summary list. And if we go, you can see there's an overview tab. And if we go down from the overview tab to the SEO elements, make sure that that's opened up. Oops, open it up. There's the internal elements and there's the external. Um, and then there's like protocol. The one that we're going to be looking at in particular is the tab under the SEO elements called response codes. And the response codes in effect are the HTTP codes that are returned whenever um, the, the crawler, whenever Screaming Frog tried to open those pages. Um, We'll just quickly go over what some of the some of these response codes are. Uh, we've got blocked by robots. Um, this is, um, if you're familiar with robots.txt, that's the directive file that tells spiders such as Screaming Frog where they can visit. And we've just happened to put a robots.txt file on tastyplacement.com that says don't visit any tag pages. So there's there's quite a lot of tag pages that are that Yeah, are and I think Yoast lets you turn those off as well. I think that's how we did it. Yeah, yeah, that's how if we I did recall. it. Yeah, yeah. this is there they're also uh, a no index which is a separate directive. Um, we also have um, see there's blocked resource which I think is on the server level and that's not actually doesn't look like that's happened. There's no response. Sort of an interesting. Um, yeah, those would be those are dead links. So I mean, yeah, they so might, they're basically 404s for all we're concerned. Yeah, it's essentially the a, an HTTP request was sent and there wasn't even an error from it. And it looks like here it's like a link to KXAN and uh, one of the old CSS galleries. Yeah, that's pretty. As old. DNS lookup failed, so that that domain isn't even there anymore. Right, it's gone. So those, those are two links that if, if a user uh, went to these, and um, let me, let's see, we can get the URL info down here at the bottom. So there's, there's like the big window with all of the, the basic crawl stuff, and then you can kind of drill down link to link down here in the bottom window. And the basic uh, window is the URL info, but then you get one tab in to the in links, and you can see basically what page pre presented that. Oh, it's in the... On the press page. The yeah. press page, yeah. And this, this particular one, this KXAN link, it could just... It could be that, you know, KXAN, K KXAN has moved on and they no longer have their 2015 
material up, or it could be that it just doesn't like the user agent on the spider. Um, then if we move down, uh, see success 200. This is not very interesting because most of the links and resources should yeah, be Yeah, it means the link is fine now. Yeah. yeah, 200 means good. Let's actually skip down um, to the more interesting stuff and kind of work up to the failures that from the most interesting failure to the less interesting failure. Most interesting failure is 500 errors, which means the server messed up, and those are fairly rare. You would have to, um, like the only time I've ever seen it is when people used like non-UTF-8 characters in the URLs. And uh, most, most hosting, if it's robust, won't give you a 500 error. Um, the client error for the 400 level ones, these are, uh, these are very similar to the no response, except that there is a response, and the response is what you're looking for is not there. Um, and I think we're, we're a little bit uh, um, fortunate here that all of these 404s are external links. But you know, an external link that's a 404 can still be a bummer for, for a user. Um, wow, it's your, uh, it's your Facebook page. Is it's a 404. Yeah, I must have misspelled something. Yeah. Um, it's a complex name. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you got the uh, the YouTube here. Let's see, this one. That's a really old post. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is this, this is like an old YouTube. That's an old, scheme. ancient That's YouTube link from <laughs> seven or eight years ago. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, good thing we did this crawl. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's out of a page or out of a site with 1,800 resources. Yes. Yeah, three or five are bad. Not yeah, bad. That's not bad. Um, let's see. Oh, the meta refresh redirection. That's like a weird one. You don't see very often. Uh, there's a um, there's an HTML refresh tag which can sometimes be put into like I don't know the header area of of a page. That basically, once you load up the page, the refresh tag says, load up this page instead. Yeah, it's almost never used now. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't know if it returns a 301 or anything. Well, let's, let, let me go back one step to the four. Oh, let's four show four. how to fix this and oh, yeah. maybe wrap it up just so people can okay. get focused on that. Like, we crawl this pretty often, so we don't have a lot of these. They do pop up every couple yeah. of months. But if you, yeah, you're on the end links tab in the bottom window there. Yeah. That to shows you the page you're on. And Go to the page, fix the link, or delete the link. Yeah, and, it, and you can do it fairly quickly just by right clicking, and then you go to open from in browser. And if you're already logged yeah. in and it's WordPress, you can probably log in right there and uh, find the the error right on the page. Yeah. Well, why don't we why don't we wrap it up and like if we you, you know we'll do others of these because yeah. they're. It's so helpful, and there's so many things you can do. Yeah. So um, yeah, give uh, uh, drop us a line, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, but uh, yeah, in general, look at look here, do a crawl, look here on the right side, and basically this whole SEO elements uh, column. There's usually interesting stuff you yeah. can look at. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you.